A question. A character. D is a professional hunter. You're a professional hunter, aren't you? Bingo! D hunts prey professionally, determined to fulfill his hired contractual agreement. With stoicism, D does not smile. Neither does his horse. Horse. D rides a horse, but not just any horse. A DL4 cyborg horse. Your horse is a DL4 cyborg, huh? Bingo! D resides in a land of future past. A world of candles, oakwood carriages, and horse travel. But they also have TVs. And shower doors sound like this. D fights within a world where mutants and demons do not just reign terror. They slither terror. Fine. D is prepared to reduce slithery. With his sword, D's sword slices enemies in half, just like a good sword is supposed to do. D has a well-decorated house, furnished with high-tech weaponry, low-tech weaponry, and beautiful decor. D is a man of style and glorious hair, and even more glorious hat. D prefers a professional sit, entering battle with complete confidence. Low-level enemies have little chance. Higher level enemies have even less, viciously assaulting his foes with his deadly blade. But his verbal assaults are even more deadly. How sad. Done in by your own stupidity. D does inspections. Professional bite inspections. Hmm. Looks like teeth. D has the ability to read code meant for hunters and assassins. For instance, this letter says D must come alone to save his client Doris's brother Dan. This is Dan. This is also Dan. D runs at unimaginable speeds and jumps canyons. And although D fights alone, he could always use a hand. His own hand. A talking hand. A self-deprecating talking hand. Are you jealous for the warmth of a real human being? Although it is difficult to deflect his internal torture, deflecting external torture is much easier. Talk to the hand, because the D ain't listening. D easily blocks attacks, predicting your strike. Your whip is nothing, and it means nothing. But even if he doesn't, it does not matter. D has instantaneous healing. He hunts nobles, fiends that look like vampires, act like vampires, and bite like vampires, but are not vampires. They are nobles. I just said that. Therefore, D is determined to save those he loves and to fight for good whenever he has the snack. D is a noble hero, and not noble meaning good, but noble meaning. His teeth are fangs. D is a dumb pure, a mixture of human and noble. But D is determined to not let evil nobleness take him over to become a demon and it is undeniable that he will defend humanity as well he'll certainly have something that count dracula can suck on and what is that d's no power excellent d uses a sword a noble hunting gun and this thing they hate it also he has a hand that sucks up things sucks up what d's no defense moderate d's cloak is incredibly durable With with regenerative health, allowing him to endure the fight, he is subject to vampire, I mean, noble rules. So if you have a magical flashlight candle, it lights out D. Agility. Excellent. D moves faster than most can strike. And again, he literally jumped a canyon on a whim. Impressive. Grade D. No, just kidding. But wouldn't that have been cool? Grade B. D provides encouragement, but also prefers silence to chatter. I guess you're the kind who doesn't talk a whole lot, right, mister? Bingo! D will be there to save humanity, and you will be safe, just as long as you hide that delicious neck! Mother of terrible characters. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question. Question. Oh, character. character.